The incident happened here at this bus stop. The teen reportedly attacked from behind. Police say that at this point, it appears to have been unprovoked. It's dangerous. Like, we're Context we're... clues, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was senseless. <laughs> well, let's just, first of all, I've, I've been in Chula Vista before many times in my past. And if it hasn't changed from before, this is like overwhelmingly Umbrito area, bro. And you're going to have like transient Umbritos around here. So, you know, typically I'm the one yelling, some man, some man. But I think this may be a crazy off the hook some uh, Umbrito right here. Yo, I, it sounds so senseless. I'm going to go some man. Yeah, whatever they say, unprovoked, man. That this is, it's a, that's one contest clue. But let me, let's see if there's more because you have to be, a, it has to be like, a confluence of context clues. I'm not just going to put it on Sun Man right there. It appears to have been unprovoked. It's dangerous. Like, we're, we're afraid to walk out and right now when it's, like, dark. It was here at the corner of H and Broadway in Chula Vista where a 17-year-old girl was attacked in broad daylight Tuesday morning. Sitting okay, at broad daylight. That's another context clue. At the bus stop when police say a man grabbed her head reached around her neck and cut her throat with a sharp object, then walked away without saying a word. The teens Another context clue. suffered significant cuts to her neck, but was able to call 911 herself. I just saw ambulance cops, the firefighters, uh, they were pulling uh, they were getting the girl, they put her on the stretcher, and then they put her in. Just 24 hours after her attack, Chula Vista police announced an arrest. 52-year-old Antoine Baker, a man... <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> hold on. Notice in all of these cuts of, these, of this damn area, you ain't seen not a damn sun man, but goddamn, Antoine. Yo, sun man, still be an umbrito, though. Nah. Yeah. Antoine. Antonio, nah, Antonio Batista. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we better heard it wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you never know, man. Let me see, man, if they got a picture of this fucking guy, man. God damn. Yo, I bet he looks how he sounds like. Fucking crazy as shit. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? Looks look, He probably looks very Floydish. Floydish. God Damn, yo, this shit is this shit is unbelievable, man. Fucking. I just want to know how, how and why year. was this sun man in this area? And I'm, I'm telling you, there are no sun people where this shit went down at. So when you were out there, what were you what 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 did you feel like? Did you feel unwelcome or did you feel like welcome? No, nah, because uh, you know, I'm one of them some men that feel that feel like I can move and really be me outside with the, you know, outside the sun group. You feel what I'm saying? So right. uh Latinos in, in, in San Diego, which is where this essentially is, like like oh, this, this is, is border. Amazing. Yeah, this is south of San Diego. Uh I felt welcome, man. It's like mad Latinos, mad That's Filipinos. What's up. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, I felt welcome, man. Um, the, but the only people who made me feel unwelcome were uh, um, Britos, but that was a rare occurrence. Okay. Shit, man. This Full of Vista 5.3, Yacht. 5.3, son? Ew. That's a good That's... five, though, you know? Now, I love San Diego. San Diego's a great fucking town, man. It's just like, God damn. Fuck. Chula Vista police announced an arrest. 52-year-old Antoine Baker, a man they believe is a transient. Police say officers made the arrest with the help of MTS, who searched their security cameras and found the man taking off from the bus stop. It was MTS officers who found the man Wednesday morning in San Diego and alerted Chula Vista PD. I walk a lot around Chula Vista, so it makes me feel very insecure now. At the bus stop, growing concern from those who frequent the area. Employees at a dental... One son, man, got this whole fucking town on island. <laughs> Wait till they get a, in a, like, a fucking build some, uh, what do you call it, low-income housing over there? Oh, They're not going to have it down there. They're, They're not, not going to have no low-income housing in Chula Vista. Oh, okay. Feet away, say they don't feel safe. As soon as we see somebody weird walking around, I we just as soon as we see somebody, <laughs> we... yo, elaborate. Yeah. Weird, 
that it? Right, right. Like, give me an example. Hey. Like, would George Floyd be considered? <laughs> <laughs> give me an example. Hey. But real talk, like, this is where Chula Vista is where uh, Mexican Mexican nationals who have money and business in the United States in San Diego, they live in Chula Vista, right? So they got big baller ass cribs out there, and middle class Latinos that that they come from the San Diego barrios who get money, they move to Chula Vista. You oh, you mean like the mafia? Like the mafia? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like Sun Men ain't taking this area over. They not. Th this ain't an area where Sun Men would be comfortable to move around and do Floyd shit. If it's just feet away. Say they don't feel safe. As soon as we see somebody weird walking around, I we just like run to the door and we lock ourselves. Saying their patients have been attacked in their lobby before and even had someone enter through the back door. One of the homeless came to the office and started hitting one of our patients. Despite the arrest, police are still asking any witnesses to come forward with information. Bus riders hoping for more police presence in the area and more looking out for one another. Anybody that sees anything, like, please come out. Like, don't be afraid. We should protect each other. In Chula Vista, Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News.